Ready to go. Afternoon viewers, welcome to Vaca TV's live stream coverage of the grand final of the 2019 Cook Island Rugby Union Grand Final. It's between the 1 and 2. The Panthers were the minor premiers. Arbitu was second. And they both got into the grand final and it's going to be a great game. We're at Ramui Park, the home of the Ararangi Cowboys. The ground's in great order. It's overcast. We're probably going to expect a bit of rain, but this will be a great game of football, this one, because both these teams... They throw the ball around, they both want to win and they're entertainers and the best players on the island are in these two teams, well, nearly all of them anyway. So we're just going to have a, the national anthem and then we'll be into it. The war will begin. There's no lost, love lost between these two teams. They both want to win. They're the two top teams but we'll just be quiet for a minute for the national anthem. We've had a death in the village in in uh, Arangi, so we'll have a million of silence for the mama, and then we'll have the national anthem, and then the war will begin. It's going to be a great game of football, this one, because they're both entertainers. They've got some real star players. We've got the best of the Fijians, the Samoans. We've got Tongans playing, and they are local Cook Island boys. And we can't get two better teams than these two to conduct the grand final. And I can't wait for this game to start. So we're just having a minute silence for the mum of it passed on. And then we have the national anthem. It'll be on for young and old. We're live streaming this through Bucket TV live stream, so if you can pick it up that way. Uh, the, I've had a look at the, the camera work. It's come up really good on the live stream, so hopefully we don't have any interference from the atmosphere to upset the single. And it'll be on very shortly. I've been told that Arbitu's running right to left. Two puppers going left to right. One moment.
Great rendition of the national anthem. It's very moving. And they're going to introduce. They're going to introduce the players. So, oh, you can hear it. So I'll let it go. having trouble with the Fijian names and the Samoan names. But the names don't win the game, it's what's in the football jumper that wins the game. There's a couple of very interesting clashes in this game. The potency for the Panthers are out wide and the potency for the Eels are out wide. So it's going to be a great clash of the back lines. The forwards even themselves out. But the game's going to be one goal kicking and the backline players. So we'll be off very shortly. The Panthers are going to be running right to left. And the Eels will be going left to right. The sun's out. We've got cloud cover. There's a light sprinkling of rain. But it's a beautiful afternoon for Rugby Union. And we've had great coverage from the World Cup. And hopefully this game lives up to, not that standard, but to the excitement. This is the final grand final. There's some, the Eels have got some good young players. This young winger coming out this way, Lucky, number 11. He's a real star in the making. He's only a young fella, good footballer. And he'll be marking Joe Vasissi, or CO as they call him. And he's a veteran and he's a great footballer. So some good clashes all through the, through the park. The big winner, the big winner in the arbitrage is this number 13, Lay, Fijian boy. He's got red hair, so you can't miss him. And he'll be marked by another Fijian tour, and uh, Faleki, the Samoans, the inside centre. So this is going to be on for young and old. Nice high kick, gone down deep. It's been well fielded. A nice kick, it's gone way back. It's pulled up, been caught by the winger. There's a left foot, that's Billy. And the, the two Papa Panthers are let it bounce. They've got nobody up wide, so Uki will take it into the forwards. A lot of noise out there, and the ball's come back for the Eels. Going up the forwards, the Eels, they're 30 metres out. Now they're kicking for number 11, Lucky's mile offside, but it's been well taken by Rungi Peary. He's been held up, so it's going to be a scrum. Lay's trying to pinch the ball. He's got down now. So the Panthers will be lucky to retain this ball. They're fighting for it. A few punches been thrown. The, goal, the ball's 30 metres out from the Hills try line. This is John Penu. And that's... Fletty knows what to do with the ball. He's going to try and put it out. 
Beautiful kick. So he's 20 metres out, 20 metres out from the Arbitu try line. And this game's going to be won in the second half. I don't think you'll see too much in the first half. But it's going to be an Arbitu throw in into the line out. And no doubt they'll probably put a big kick in to try and get down here. Rung, he's on the halfway mark, so there's a bit of a wind going across the field right to left, so he obviously doesn't think it'll carry with the wind. First line out. The referee's Popper Moore. He's our best referee. Been well taken in by the Eels, but it's uh, not straight. Not straight. So here's the first opportunity to attack. It's going to be a scrum. Hopefully these two teams throw the ball around because they're great attacking teams and I think you'll see the best of the Raratonga Rugby Union clubs here. Hope so anyway because it's been live stream. We'll be going through the Pacific and we want to prove to the people in the Pacific that we can play this game. Ball's in. Uh, scrum's moved off to mark, so I'll reset it. In the last couple of weeks, two pupper have been their worst enemies. They made a lot of mistakes, knock-ons, drop balls, offside, and it's curtailed their attacking ability because all they're doing is defending, but they're a great defending team. So we've got another scrum being set. It's 20 metres out. The call's... For the ball to go in, it's in. Good scrum from two popper. Aussie's got the ball out. Bad pass. But that's... They've gone down. They've got the ball out wide. they put a kick up. There must be a penalty advantage. Oh. John Penn has been knocked back late. That's a... There's a dead eel on the ground. Hit late after he's kicked the ball. So we're going to have a penalty. 30 metres out from the eels try line. It's an eels scrum and feed. The eels are telling the referee who hit him late, but the referee knows. So Leckie's going to take the penalty kick. As John Penn was knocked over. There's a bit of, bit of talk between the two clubs. That's not, it's not going to help the game. Hasn't gone out. CO's got the ball. He's put a kick up in the air. It's going to be fielded by nobody. It's bounced. The Panthers have come up with it. They're on the 40 metre line. They're all offside ref, but who cares? They're all in front. Out they come. A lot of talk out there between the players. There's no love lost between these two clubs. And no rolling away by the Panthers. So they should kick for goal. It'll be interesting. The Panthers have got three very competent goal kickers. So it looks like it'll probably be Viga to take the early kicks. He's playing 5-8. Very accurate kicker. Very reliable. So he's taken it back 43 metres out, but straight in front. The distance shouldn't be a problem. He's got a bit of wind behind him. And goal kicks are going to win this game. Well, that's my opinion anyway. You get three points every now and then, you can jag a team. The important thing is he's got to make sure it goes dead so they get it back from the drop kick. He's a good little footballer, this man. He's been on the island. He's Samoan, but he's been on the island for a long time. Very humble boy. Loves his union. Taking his time. Moves in. First scoring opportunity in the game. It's up in the air. Nice long distance. And it looks pretty good. Never... 
that never looked like missing. As soon as he kicked it, the Panthers were back on in their half. They knew it was going to go over. So the Panthers have got to the early lead, 3-0. There's a long, long way to go. But that's the, the type of game it's going to be. There's not much between these two teams. If it flows, goal kicks are going to win it. That's Farley's kicked off. No, it was John Penner. Panthers have got the ball. They've put the kick up. They're going to let it bounce. Bad mistake, but the Eels have come up with it. You can't let those kicks bounce because they go anywhere. They're on the halfway mark, the Eels. Going out to their winger. Plenty of Panthers over there. Oh, he's down on the halfway mark. He's telling the Panthers to get on side. It's been kicked through. Oh, oh, good front on tackle, but he's gone through it. He's lost the ball forward. He's going to come back for the penalty. Right on the halfway mark. Pop them all. He hasn't singled what the penalty's for. But he's telling the players what it was for. Uh, they've gone down the side. They're 30 metres out. We're going to have a line out. This is the first opportunity for the Eels to be on the attack. Their line out, their throw. They've got good jumpers that normally goes to Clive Nicholas. And they'll try and up. He goes, bad throw. It's gone to nobody. They've got up with it but the Eels. They're going to run it through to forwards, which is an old Eels play. They've got it to 15 metres out. And they're still going. Their ball's on the ground now. The Panthers have stopped the movement. They've come off, pick and go, 10 metres out. Another pick and go. You've got to be careful, the Panthers, because they'll get pinged for being offside here. Hookie was the main tackler. They've got the ball out wide. And it's out wide to Neville. Nobody. That mysterious wing of it all teams have got. And it's gone to nobody. The winger wasn't home. He must have been off the field to get a cup of coffee. So... It's a quick throw in. The Panthers have got the ball in. Oh, oh, that's a high shot. That's a high shot. They've taken a quick penalty. That's for Letty. He's a very tough footballer and he's the game breaker for the Panthers. They got the ball out wide. The ball's out wide. They're over the halfway mark. The Panthers, the Eels are trying to get on side. They've it's gone down. Knock on, knock on from the Panthers in the ruck. So we're going to have a scrum 40 metres out from the Eels try line. But it's going to be an Eels scrum and feed. This game is going to take a while to settle down. And lot, not a lot in these two teams. I just hope they get to the stage where they start throwing the ball around because there's some exciting runners out there. They're pretty evenly matched in the forwards. Billy, Billy Bush is the halfback, biggest halfback on the island. And they put a big push on to Papa, but it wasn't straight, but they haven't got the ball. They've covered it up, the Panthers. The Eels are 40 metres out. They've got the ball. In they come. Good run. He's up on the halfway mark. They've got a fly going here. They've got the ball out wide. The Panthers are missing tackles. The Eels are 30 metres out. They've still got the ball. It's gone out wide. Here's it. They've got the big front rower out here in the outside centre spot.
penalty. Yeah. Pampers must have been inside. So he's awarded a penalty 20 metres out, right in front. So they'll kick for goal. And that's been the Panthers' biggest problem lately. They've been offside numerous times and it looks like they haven't learnt. So it'll be uh, Leckie kicking. He's a very reliable kicker, this boy. He's a Tongan. So it's 3 0 at the moment while he's taking the kick. I just want to thank our sponsors who've been with us all year Origin Gas, PTS Plumbing, the Two Papa Centre, the General Transport, and Kiarana FM 89.5 on the dial. And they've been our sponsors all year, and we thank them very much because without sponsors, we can't do these games. But this game at the moment's been slow starting, but I think they're just feeling themselves out. But when we get into the second half, it'll be on for young and old because this is it. This is the game. This is the grand final. The winner takes the lollies home. The losers don't get any lollies. Leckie's a reliable kicker, so he should put this over. Three nil. Pampers are in front. Moves in. And then I must have put the moss on him because it never looked like going over. But the good thing is. They're going to get the ball back, hopefully, from the dropout. But that should have been three points. That was virtually in front. And that's what I mean about goal kicks or win games. You can't afford to miss them. But Faneuil's going to take the dropout. He's a left footer. And he's got a good kick on him, so it should go a fair way. Up down the middle. It's gone down to the 30-metre mark and the eel's end. Been well picked up. John Penn has put the kick up. He's chasing it. And it's gone out on the full. And uh, I think the linesman's cribbing a bit there. But he's 45 metres out from the Eels try line. And it's going to be a Pampas line out and their throw. And they'll go to Mr. Reliable, one of our best players, number eight, Thomas Toe. Been an icon in this game here for a long time. There he is, up. He's had to tap it back, but they've got the ball. Carvey's put the ball up. It's oh, nearly a collision. And the Panthers are over the ball. The Eels are slow getting back on side. They've retained the ball, but oh, they've let it bounce. They're going to kick it because they're desperate. The rung is underneath. It's gone to the winger. Oh, and Carvey's put it down. Carvey's not the best catcher of a football, but he's a great runner. And if it was me, I'd be kicking to him all day because he'll put six out of ten on the ground. But he's a good bloke and he's a good footballer. Can't catch the ball. We're on the halfway mark. Got a scrum going down for the knock-on. We've got a good crowd in here today. It's an arbitrary ball right on the halfway mark. The scrum's moving around. The ref's not happy with it. I don't blame him. There's too much movement in it before the ball went in. Long way to go in this game. 3-0. The Panthers are leading. The refs on this side keeping an eye on the front rowers to make sure they're square. He's called for the ball to go in. The Pams have put a big push in. The Eels have come up. Here's the big run here. That's, this is lucky this young fellow I was talking about. Two has got hold of him and they've crunched him. He's got the ball back. Here's their big danger man, Lay, with the Fijian with the red curly hair. 
got the ball back. Billy's got it back to Neville. Nobody. There's that player again. There's a big run from the front rower. I haven't got a team sheet for Arbitu and I'm disappointed because without their team sheets it's hard to put names on these players. I know a lot of them. It's a big run here. They're down to the 20 metre mark and the Eels are on the attack. They've got two players down. The Eels will play it through the forwards. It's their normal game. They've gone to the blind side. Back to the open. They're 20 metres out. Oh, they've taken out the Panthers players. That's cleaning them out. Big hit from the Panthers. 20 metres out. This is the Eels. Typical football. Down the middle, play in the forwards, pick and go. They're 15 metres out, still retaining the ball. The Panthers' defence has been really spot on in the last few weeks. You've got to be a good team to bust them in the forwards. They've put them down, another only gained a metre. The ref's gone to the blind side to see what's going on. Here they go again, the Eels are trying to push over. They're just short of a try line. The Panthers are after the ball. The crowd's yelling. We've got a good crowd in here today. They're all ill supporters over that side, in that corner. They lost the ball. That's lost the ball. That's the biggest problem of our pick and goes. They lose the ball. So we've got a scrum going down, 10 metres out. It's going to be a Panthers scrum and feed. The Panthers online defence has been really spot on lately and they stand up and get counted all the time. So it's 3-0 from the penalty conversion and it's a Panthers scrum and feed. No doubt they rung his way back there and he's a big kicker of the ball. He's got the wind behind his left shoulder. So he should get over the halfway mark if he connects. Big punter of the ball. The Eels will put the big push on. That's Folletti. The Eels have let it bounce again. It's gone 60 metres. It's gone out. His trouble, his oh, and Lay's knocked the ball on. Come on, ref, it's a knock on. Pull it back, no advantage. He should have pulled it up straight away because as soon as he picked it up and run, it's a knock on. So we've got a scrum going down 40 metres out from the Eels' try line. It's going to be a pan for scrum and feed, but Lay wasn't expecting that. And you should always expect the ball in these games. You never know when it's going to come your way. There's an opportunity for the Pampers to attack. Tom's got a query for the referee. Hey! He put the wrong arm up. Now he's... don't know, he must have been singling who knocked it on. Then he's gone to the Panthers. That's what I hope's happened. So we've got a Panthers scrum and feed 40 metres out from the Eels try line. And here's an opportunity for these backline players to do something. Ozzy's the halfback, Nathaniel Joseph. It's in. It's out. Oh, he's, oh, I thought that was a knock on, but it wasn't. They put the big kick in, it's gone out 10 metres out from the Eels try line. So we're going to have a line out, it's going to be an Eels scrum and feed and that's, that's not what I expected from the Panthers. I thought they would have tried to run the ball from there but they've gone for the kick on the sideline and they know the, uh, the Arbitu's line outs are up and down. And Tom's always a chance of pinching this ball, so we'll see how it all goes. It's an ill throw in. They're up. It's gone to nobody. It's gone backwards. 
There's a knock on both ways. So it's been knocked on by the Panthers first, knock on by the Eels second. So now we're going to have a scrum 10 metres out from the Eels try line. But it's going to be an Eels scrum and feed. And obviously these players are nervous because it's the grand final, but they're seasoned footballers. They should be able to handle this. So it's 3-0. Panthers in front. The other two kickers are back. They're ready to put a kick in. Rungi's back on the 40 metre mark. So, oh, big push by the Panthers. Big push. Big push. They're 10 metres out. I can't see the referee. I can't see single. Looks like we're going to have another scrum. Going to be an Arbutu feed. And that's not bad from the Panthers because they've been pushed all over the park in the last few weeks. So they must have done some scrummaging practice during the week. These teams played two weeks ago and the Eels won in the last minute of the game with a converted try. But it was very close. So the ball's in. The Panthers have screwed it around. Here comes the kick. Rungy's underneath it. Oh, he's kicked it. He's let it bounce. Oh, there's a big collision. And the Eels have come up with it. And that's John Penu. Rungy's down, injured. They're over the halfway mark, the Eels. Here's their big chance because the Panthers haven't got a fullback. And it's gone out. No, it's still going. They're on the halfway mark. They're drawn to the Panthers. Oh, Vega knows they've got no fullback back there. They've let the ball bounce. It's 10 metres out. He's got Panthers everywhere. So, oh, he slipped over. Here's a big chance. The Panthers are all over this. And they've got to come up with a ball. Penalty. Good call, referee. Good call. Good call. Correct call. The Panthers have three players down there. Oh, and there's an advantage. I don't know why they didn't. They're offside the Eels. I don't know why they didn't kick for goal. It was right in front, 10 metres out. They're obviously going to try and score tries because they know that's the only way you're going to win this game. So we're going to kick for goal. 10 metres out, just on the side of the goal post. So it should be an easy kick for Vega or Vega. And while he's setting it all up, I just want to thank our sponsors. General Transport, Origin Gas, PTS Plumbing, the Two Papa Centre who's been with this team all through the competition and 89.5 on the FM dial. Without our sponsors, we can't show these games. But this game's got a long way to go. It's 3-0 in favour of the Panthers. It should be six very shortly. But I don't want to put the moz on him. But this should be a piece of cake for a man of this fellow's capabilities. But if they're going to take this kick, they should have taken the earlier kick from the penalty because it was right in front. Got a good crowd in here today. There's some very passionate supporters for these two teams, Arbitu. And that's gone over. So it's 6 0. The Panthers are in front. They're a good front running team, the Panthers. But they've got a, there's a good turnout of spectators here. We've got plenty of cars, we've got plenty of people. Beautiful afternoon for a game of rugby union. And I hope the live stream's coming through. Nice and clear. So it's 6-0. The Eels are going to kick off. That's Farley going to take the drop. Nice and high. Gives his team plenty of time to get under the ball. It's been picked up. They're 20 metres out, 30 metres out. The Eels are on top of it. 
The Panthers are waiting for the ball to come. They're all offside, ref. There's another kick. Down the centre of the field. It's been well taken by the fullback. And he's off. He's, oh, lay, oh. That's interesting because he's lost the ball. That was from his half-brother, CO. They're good mates. They've been brought up together. And I think that was a get square for what happened a couple of weeks ago because CO missed Lay and Lay scored the winning try. And I think he knew he had to make that tackle. They're both very competitive. So we've got a scrum going down on the halfway mark just on the Panther side. It's going to be a Panther scrum and feed. And you've got some stars in the back line the Panthers, but we haven't seen them running yet. Huh. I don't know how, but it's an eel's ball. He must have ruled that when the tackle was made, it's come off the Panthers, man. And that's not how I saw it. A big push again from the Panthers. I can't believe it. They've gone up, but the Panthers haven't pushed anybody off the whole competition. Billy's just thrown it to nobody. They just don't know what they're doing at the moment. The Eels, there's Lecky, he's up, he's a good runner. Great run, he's lost the ball. Looks like the Eels are going to make all the mistakes. That's just nerves because Lecky doesn't normally drop the ball that cold. So we've got a scrum going down 40 metres out from the Panthers try line. Going to be a Panthers scrum and feed. But whatever team settles down first in this game is going to win it. The Panthers outside back snow. The Eels are lethal out wide. And the Eels know that the Panthers are lethal out wide. So it's just a matter of who gets the advantage in the game. So faniel has got the ball. 40 metres out. He's been told to put it in. The ball's... Oh. Out it comes. Folletti's put the ball up the middle. It's going to let it bounce and it's going to. CO's after it. And they've all missed it. They've all missed it. Lucky's got the ball. Lucky's a good little footballer. Oh, and Rungi's made a mess of it. Well picked up. Lay's got the ball out. It's gone to Neville. Nobody. The, oh, the Eels have locked it on. There's knock ons everywhere. That was good football from the Eels. From nothing, they've, they've taken the last pass. They would have scored. So we've got a scrum going down 15 metres out. Panthers scrum and feed. That's the sort of football that we want to see from these two teams. This young winger out here, number 11, Lucky. He's a good footballer. He's very quick. He's a good thinking young man. And he's going to be a good footballer for Arbitu for a long time providing we don't lose him to the big countries. Uh, 15 metres out. Panthers scrum and feed, but the ball's off the mark before... The scrum's off the mark before the ball's put in. Six nil. The Panthers are in front. And they wouldn't be happy with that because they know six nil is not going to win a game. In. The referee's not happy. Going to set it again. A lot of talking going on out there between the players. Billy's telling everybody where to go. But obviously the Eels are expecting a kick. Oh, here we go. 
big kick, gone down the left-hand side, been well caught on the halfway mark, into the Panthers, good still going. Panthers are running up the middle, they're 30 metres out, slow ball, big run here. Oh, it's gone to Neville, nobody. Oh, it's all over the place. We're going to have to have a knock on somewhere along the line. So another bit of luck for the Eels. They've got a scrum 20 metres out right in the centre of the field from a knock on. Now we've got a chance to see the Eels attack. It's only 6-0, long way to go in this game. game's going to be one in the second half and that's how games should be played you win the second half you normally win the game so balls call for the ball to go in Billy's got it it's gone back that's Lay he's a great runner with the ball great run still going he's 15 metres out and it's uh, they've pinched the ball so it's a push and shove out there. It's what the game needs, a little bit of fire. No dirty stuff, but a bit of fire into it. The eels are 10 metres out. It'll be interesting to see what they do. Are they going to put a scrum down or are they going to kick or are they going to just take a tap and work their forwards because they're very strong in the forwards. Going for a line out. <coughs> They're 10 metres out. Line out. Going to the eels. This is where you'll see the eels forwards try and run this ball into the... Oh, it's, a, oh, it's been well taken by the eels. Now they're going to ruck it up. And they drove over. And they're over. I can't tell you who scored it, but it's 6-5. That's the first bit of positive football from the Eels. They're very strong in the forwards when they drive like that. And the Panthers will be very disappointed with themselves because they don't often have that ha happen to them. So it's 6-5, kick to come. And while he's taking this kick, I just want to thank our sponsors once again. Origin Gas, PTS Plumbing, General Transport, the Two Papa Centre and 89.5 on the FM dial. It's an important kick. We're getting towards half time. And if the Eels can go in 7-6, they'll be happy with it because they haven't played well. And I think the Panthers will be disappointed with that. Not many teams score against them like that. But that's the signature of the Eels club. Pick and go, drive up the middle. That's how they play their football. And that's how Japan beat Ireland last night in the World Cup. Keep putting it up the middle, keep getting the players in, and go up the middle. Important kick this one. It's only going to put them one in front or one behind, but to go in at half time, a point in front, you're in front. He's taking his time, he knows it's important. The Pampers aren't even going to try and charge it down by the look of things. They're just going to let him have a free shot at it. Taking his time. I thought there was a time limit on taking kicks. Moves in. And he's missed. Oh, I'm lucky to be disappointed with that. So I know him pretty good and he'd be disappointed with himself. And they haven't got too many options in the kicking department. So it's 6-5. The Panthers are still in front. 
But I think they'll consider themselves very lucky to be in front. Got a little bit of a shower coming over. But it's not going to make any difference to this game. Up we go. High kick. It's not going to go. It just goes 10 metres. Been well taken. They've secured the ball. The Eels. Billy's the halfback. Good kick. Billy's kicked it and fell over. Rungy's passed the ball out. Here's Carbo. He's put a kick in. Dribble down the sideline. We're going to have a line out 30 metres out from the Eels try line. And Eels throw into the line out. We've got a father and son out there playing. Billy and his son Stanley, 21 and 22. That's uh, often occurs here in the islands. And they play both playing good football. And the Eels move up. Up they go, terrible throw. But they got away with it, the Eels. Lucky to get that on the bounce. Good run and he's lost the ball. Oh, the Eels. They're making all the mistakes now. We're not just short of a halfway mark, uh, the half time buzzer. And this is probably the Pampers' best opportunity to do something in this first half. They're um, 30 metres out from the Eels' try line. They got the Eels scrumming, uh, the Pampers have got the scrum and feed. And I think the crowd's here to watch this and they've got to get the ball out. You've got these players out wide and they're stars. But you can't be a star if you don't have the ball. So we've got a scrum going down, time on. 30 metres out from the Eels try line. There's a replacement coming on for the Eels. He's been sent back off. He's got to wait for the player to come off before he can come on. Thirty metres out. Panthers scrum and feed. This is their big opportunity. They haven't been down here too often. Ozzy Joseph's the half back. Been told to put the ball in. Panthers have put a big push on. Oh, that locks off. They've got it out wide. They've got it out. Here's Tua. Tua's been well tackled. The Panthers are over it. They've lost the ball. Oh, there's a big chase on here. The, oh, they've let it bounce, the Panthers. It's anybody's ball. Lucky it's Salafi or Sione down there. He's got the ball. He's bought a bit of time. And there's an advantage to the Panthers. That's lucky football for the Panthers. They got out of jail there. So the Panthers have got a penalty 20 metres out from their own try line. And that was serious, terrible football from the Panthers. Darren Perry, the coach, will, won't be able to get these players quick enough into the huddle at half time to tell them to settle down and let's start playing football. And the Eels will be the same. This is a mucky sort of a game at the moment. So we're on the halfway line. We've got a line out. The Panthers. And there's the halftime siren at 6-5. So it's gone to Tom. 
Oh, it's all over the place. It's come out now and they've... Oh. Viger says, I've had enough of this rubbish. We'll go to half time 6 5 and we'll be back for the second half very shortly. Right, we're back for the second half. The teams are ready. The referee's coming on. Let's hope this second half is a lot better than the first because there's. I think they're nervous, there's too many mistakes and the game's there to be won. Arbitu is only one point behind, the Pampers are leading six points to five and whoever is game enough to play the football will win this game. 6-5, there's not much in it. Tries are going to win this game and they're both very good attacking teams. So we've got the Panthers kicking off. We've got a shower coming over the field and we're probably going to have a shower all afternoon. The referee says, let's go. And the Panthers are kicking off and they're going left to right. The Eels are going right to left with a bit of a wind over their shoulder. And here we go. This is for the grand final. Whoever wins this is the premiers for the Cook Island Rugby, Rugby Union competition for 2019. And it's going back, it's going to kick the ball. It's fair enough. Carvey's underneath it and he's knocked it on. And he's, geez, a bad. The Eels have come up with the ball. Carvey, he needs a sugar bag to catch the ball. And they kick to him and he, that's two out of two he's dropped. And all you do is put your team under pressure. It's 20 metres out. It's the Eels ball. Here's their main man. He's gone through the first one. They're trying to run the ball up the middle, the Eels. Knock on. Knock on from the Eels, and they're on the attack. Oh, that might not have been uh, Carbe who dropped the ball. It was... Uh, He's on the right wing. I think it must have been the left wing. It'll be Jova Sissi or Sio. I apologise, Carbo. But that's their weakness in the Panthers. Their wingers can't catch the ball. And I know the Eels know that. And um, they try and put their kicks down to their wingers and run to them to put them off. But this game is going to be one with tries. 6-5, the Panthers are leading. There's a scrum going down. We've got an injury on the other side. We've got a scrum going down 20 metres out. We're waiting for the injured player to get up. The referee's getting a report from the linesman. Shouldn't make any dis difference to the referee's call. Scrum, Panthers, scrum and feed. 20 metres out from their own try line. Both these teams have got to start running the ball because it's the only way you're going to win this game. It's not going to be one with kicks. Daniel's got the ball, they're set, the ball's in, the Eels have put the pressure on, they've gone out, here's two, a little kick, here's a chance here, Billy Bush has done well for a big man to get across and cover that up. That was Viger that kicked the ball, Wally's at the back, that's Lee, Lee's a great worker for the Eels. He's lost the ball. Out it comes. That's big Tulu, he's big man, number whatever number he is, but the Panthers have come up with a ball. They're on the halfway mark. Out they come. They're gonna run the ball. This is the way they're gonna win the game. Oh mistakes everywhere, the ball's on the ground. The Panthers have done well to retain this. Hands in the ruck. 
on the halfway mark. Well, I think that was Wally. So Faniel's taking the kick, so they're going to have a line out 20, 30 metres out. The Panthers got the line out in the throw. One of these teams has got to make this position pay off for them. They just can't keep going up and down this field. It'll go to Tom the throw. Even the dogs are barking. They're telling the players to run the ball. So in it comes. Up goes Tom. He's been the ball's been pinched. And that's Logan. Here we go, another kick, a left footer. That's rung, he's let it bounce. He's going to run the ball, he's got his men with him. That's CO. CO's up the middle, he's a great runner with the ball, he's through. Great run, CO. Got, oh, big hit. The Panthers are on the fly, and this is what I expected the game to be like. Ten metres out, the Panthers have got the ball. Slow ball. And he's kicked a field goal. And it's over. It's Viga or Viga. So they must be worried about this game. It's early in the game to be kicking field goals, but it's three points. So it's 9-5. Nine, 9-5 five. Nine, five to the Panthers. Well, just for our, for our viewers' sake, I wish we could get this ball out to number 11, the Panther boy. Uh, Carve, he is a flying machine. Great runner with the ball. That's 9 5. The good thing with that kick is the Panthers are going to get the ball back. But I think the coach has probably said to him, start running this ball. That's Sione. They're 30 metres out, the Panthers. And they've kicked the ball. That's not going to win the game, kicking the ball out. Up high. Oh, been well taken. There's a big kick. Oh, here we go. He's lay. He won't kick the ball. He'll run it. He only knows one thing. Straight up the middle. Great run, lay. Great football of this boy. And the ball's down, but the Eels have retained it. Lucky the wingers calling for a kick because he knows he's got a bit of ground out here. They've gone to the open side. The ball's on the ground and it's come up a Panthers ball. Oh, they're off. So it's a knock on from the Panthers. 30 metres out from their own try line. We've got a scrum going down. It's going to be an eel scrum and feed. And you can see the potential of these eels players. When Lay gets the ball, he's best runner on the island with the ball. He'll run through anybody. So we've got a scrum going down. Eels ball. Billy's the halfback. In it goes. The Panthers have put the big push on. They've mucked up the scrum. Short arm penalty to the Panthers. Quick tap. The crowd's going wild. They've asked for a scrum where the ball landed. So they're going to go from where the ball landed. So they're 10 metres out, the Eels. They're going to go into the corner and go for a line out. That's 10 metres out from the Pampers try line. We've got a line out throw. Uh, I was just wondering the 
John from the Panthers had the ball to throw it in, but it was never his throw. It's always going to be an eel's throw. It's important, this one. Up they go. Not straight, not straight. Terrible throw. Like the jumper, son. You like it? Yes. Chances? No. <laughs> I've got a scrum going down. I've got a scrum going down 10 metres out. There's going to be a Panther scrum and feed. A lot of advice coming from the sideline. That's fine. Nine five, Panthers are leading. Rungy's back, Viger's back. There comes the ball. He's, he's smart, he's put on the ground this time. They've bought the ball, they're on the halfway mark, the Panthers. They've gone to the short side. There's plenty of Panthers there. And the ball's on the ground. The ref's trying to get the Panthers on side. Out it comes. Oh, lucky to hang on to it. Great run up the middle. That's where the eels are strong. They're offside. Quick tap. Out they come. Here goes Lay. Lay will be hard to stop from there. He's going to be close to scoring. He's a great footballer. He's short of a line. Everybody was grabbing at his jumper and you can't tackle him like that. And here we are, we're over the line, held up, held up, and there's a bit of a push and shove, and there's a Billy Bush is running from 20 yards away, and that's not on. The ref's got to take control of this. There's going to be a bit of ill feeling in this game because they're frustrated. Boy, you do that in New Zealand or Australia, you're straight into the sin bin. The passions are running high, and that's frustration. The referee's blowing his whistle, the players are arguing. I honestly don't know what's going on out there. The ref's called for a scrum, he's blowing his whistle, he's like the postman. He's got to take control of this game. If there's any problems, they're pushing and shoving each other. Put them in the sin bin. That'll get rid of them. So we've got a scrum going down. Five metres out from the Panthers try line. Very important part of the game, this one. It's an eel scrum and feed. They're still pushing and shoving. In it goes. They're going to try and push it over. Out it comes. Leckie's got the ball out wide. They've kicked for their winger. And the Panthers winger's not home. And that's going to be a try. That's a great try to the Eels. The winger was not home for the Panthers. He was 20 yards away. But the referees ruled a no try. So we're going to have a line out. Ten metres out. Panthers throw. Subs are coming on. That was bad football from the Panthers on the open side and they didn't have a winger. Still 9-5. Panthers get away with this. They're going to be a very lucky team. And I'm sure the next try will win the game. If we see a try, another one. So it's a Panthers scrum and feed. It's been a short throw to the man at the front. He's trundled up. They're 20 metres out. They've gone back. And there's Vegas put a kick in. Got it down to about 30 metres out. So we've got another line out. It's an eels throw. The Panthers keep inviting the eels to the party. They're going to wreck the party. 
bad line out. The Panthers have come up with it. There's a big steal. And Aussie's put his left foot into it. Out they come. Big wide throw. There's an up and under from Farley. Rungy's pretty good under the high ball. And he's marked it. One thing about Rungy, he's very safe under the high ball. Got to wait for everybody to get on side. Hey, Rungy's caught the ball. He's got to take the kick. You can't give it to somebody else to kick, surely. They must think the referee doesn't know the rules. You can't. There's pushing and shoving. There, it's on. It's on. It's on. That's silly football from the Panthers. Rungy has to take the kick. Rungy's off, and they've got hold of him, and he's got the ball away. There's Vigar. He's dancing around. Put the kick in, and they've got a lot of ground there. This is getting uh, silly football. You mark the ball, you've got to take the kick. You can't give it to somebody else to kick, and Rungy's a better punter than CEO anyway. And everybody's yelling at everybody. Carbo's not happy, he's yelling out in Fijian at the fullback. The fullback don't understand what he's saying. Been well pinched by, it's gone out. Now we've got the big kick in. Rungy's under, the, oh, it's gone out to the winger. Well caught by Co, and he's put the kick up high. He's chasing the ball, and he's come up with a ball. The Pampers are slow to get there, but they've retained the ball out wide. They come. That's a big run and a big hit from the Eels. Here they go, the Pampers. This is silly football. Here we go. Penalty was knocked down by the Eels. It's right in front, 25 metres out. Going to kick for goal. I was expecting a real exciting game today, but this has been a little bit under what I expected. It's 9-5 in favour of the Panthers. One try to the, Pan uh, to the Eels and three penalties to the Panthers and this is in front you shouldn't have any problems with this I feel sorry for the referee because it's a, these are the games that are hard to referee too many mistakes and all the players are whinging Takes his time. This is Viger. He knows it's important. Up it goes. Never look like missing. That makes it 12-5. It's a converted try of a difference. But the Panthers have got to start throwing the ball around and playing football. They, they, they owe this to their fans. The fans are very, very serious about their football. Tainer Savage has come on. He must have just finished work. He's in number one by the look of things. Good footballer. He works for the BSP Bank. Long high kick from Farley. Been caught. They're going to run the ball. That's a good kick. Billy's down the back playing second row. They got hold of him. They got hold of him. It's going to be they're holding him up. They're holding him up. They're holding him up. He's down. Here goes his son, Stanley. Big unit. They're both big units. Billy's getting excited. Stanley's getting up. He's just like his dad. Oh, it's a knock on. There's Sione's got the ball. 
He's still going. He'll come back. He'll come back to the knock on. So it's uh, Stanley's not very happy with the Eels. I don't blame him. She'll be yelling at himself. His dad's yelling at everybody. It's just one of those games that isn't working for anybody. So it's a Panthers scrum and feed. 30 metres out from their own try line. 12 fives to score. Sets the call. The ball's in. The Panthers are holding it. They've done well, the Panthers. Aussie's got it out. And there they go. They put the kick in. And it's going to go out. John Penn is limping over there. But that's not going to win the game unless you can pinch the ball in the line out. So we've got a line out 30 metres out from the Eels try line. It's an Eels throw, throw into the line out. The Panthers are half a chance of pinching this because they've been very inconsistent in their line outs, the Eels. So let's see how it goes. Up they go. It's been overshot. It's come back to the Panthers. They've got it out wide. Oh, I thought he was going to kick it. He's kicked it. They're trying to get behind. That's Carve's off. Great run. Great run, that's great run from the fullback from the and he's lost. He's gone. Oh, big hit. Big hit. And there's bodies flying everywhere. And he's got an advantage to the Eels. Gonna kick it out. Oh, CO's caught it. That surprises me. But he'll kick it. Up in the air. He let it bounce. It's still bouncing. Gone out. Not very exciting game for the fans, this one. So we're 20 metres out from the Eels try line. It's a line out, it's an Eels throw. And I suppose the Panthers are working on the fact that they can win the ball from these line outs. Oh, in it comes. Up they go. Oh, and oh, the Eels have missed it again. Panthers have come up with a ball. There's a double blow on the whistle. The penalty for a high shot from Logan, which doesn't surprise me. So they've got a penalty shot, the Panthers, they're 30 metres out, just on the side of the left hand upright. It's where he kicked the last run from, so it's 12-5. And while he's taking the kick, I just want to thank our sponsors who've been with us all season. PTS Plumbing, Plumbing Origin Gas, the two Papa Centre, General Transport and 89.5 on the FM dial. Starting to get cold here. Vigas had a good game kicking. If this is going to win the game, well, it's going to win the game. There's seven points to spread at the moment. Another three points would make it nearly impossible for the Eels to get home the way they're playing. But the important thing is he's got to make sure this goes dead so they get it back from the dropout. Moves in. Linesman haven't moved. And never looked like missing. So it's another three points to, to quite Samoan. So it's 15, 5, 10 points the difference. So we've got the, pan, uh, the Eels kicking off. It's a wobbly old kick. It's been taken by Big John. 
He's straight into the forwards. The Pampers are over the top of it. They're 40 metres out from their own try line. Slow ball coming. It's gone out wide. Here we go, here we go. We've got a break on here. And he's down the, down the left-hand side, but he's gone out. I don't know what the call is. Other than he went out. So we've got another line out. The linesman from that side, he should be up here in line with the throw, but he's t 10 metres down the field, so I don't know what's going on. I don't understand the rules, but I know he's got to stand where the throw's got to come from. So he's got a scrum now. I don't know, I just don't understand. But we've got a scrum going down 40 metres out from the Pampers try line and it's a, an eels scrum and feed. Big push from the Panthers. They've got the ball from the scrum. And there's another kick. There's nobody home down here. Nobody home. And they've let the ball bounce. They put the kick. They're not going to win the game kicking it back to the Panthers. They need to get the hold of the ball. Here we go. Oh, CO's put it up. It's a game of kicks. It's bounced back for the Panthers. There's a big run here. There's no, here's Carve, you're so, oh, he's, oh, he was home. He cannot catch the ball, Carve. He had the bloke beat, but he didn't catch the ball. He was home for all money. And he's a Fijian, he's laughing. He sees the funny side of it. He knows he's bombed a try. So we've got another scrum going down. 30 metres out from the... Eels try line, it's an Eels scrum and feed. And Carbe, he enjoys his football, he don't care, he'll make up for it. Shakes his head, he knows he's bombed a try. The Fijians on the sideline are giving him a, a bit of a ribbing. Scrum goes down. It's an eel scrum and feed. And they're moving all over the place. A lot of commentary coming from the crowd. The good thing about the crowds here over here, they enjoy their football. They laugh. They giggle. They enjoy the football. So we've got a scrum going down 30 metres, 40 metres out from the Eels try line, but it's an Eels scrum and feed. It's John Penn who's playing halfback. Big push from the Panthers. And they're going to run the ball. This is Lecky. And he's been dragged down by Tainer Savage. Up the middle, here they go, the Eels. That's a knock. He's ruled a knock on. Well, I don't know what he's ruled. He's put his hands as if it was a knock-on. Oh, here we go. Here we go. I sometimes can't follow this referee's call. He singled to me. It was a knock-on. His hands went forward, and then it, he doesn't do anything. So we've got a penalty 40 metres out from their own try line, the Eels. Oh, it's a wobbly old kick. Oh, it's been knocked on by CO. Gosh, they should give these players sugar bags to catch the ball. But that's the second or third one CO's put down. So we've got a line out or a scrum going, a line out, scrum, whatever you want. 
40 metres out from the Pampers try line. The Eels are going to bite these Panthers if they keep doing these silly mistakes. The Eels are a good team. They've got Lay playing inside centre. And he's their man. If I get the ball out to him, he can do a lot of damage. And it's out. Out they come. Oh, Lay says, oh, up the middle. But they're onto him. They brought him down. He's 40 metres out from the Panthers try line. Oh, the Eels are going to run the ball up the middle. Here they go again. It's Big Tulu, number three. He's been put down. The ball's out there, Neville, nobody. There's John Penn who done a little Samoan dance, but they got hold of him. Good tackle, hooky. They're fighting for the ball. It's an Eels ball. That's Lee. They're going to run the ball up in the centre. They're over the top. There's an advantage to the Eels. That's big Stanley. Number 21, he's still got the advantage. So we're going to go back here offside the Panthers, 35 metres out from the try line. They're taking a quick tap. Billy's taking the tap. It's gone out wide. They're not going anywhere. It's Lay again. They just keep giving the ball to him because he's their match winner. But he can't do it by himself. Slow ball for the Eels. Another advantage to the Eels. 30 metres out from the Panthers try line. There's another penalty. So they've had a tap. He's Lee, Lay. He's off again. He knows he's the only one who can do anything. They're not giving him any help. Out the ball comes. And they've lost the ball. It's a Panthers ball. Rungy's put it up in the air. Oh, Folletti's knocked it on. Carbe's got the ball, but it's all from a knock on. Fifteen five, ten points to difference. The Eels have got to do something here. They've got to try and score a try and convert it to get back into the game. We've got a scrum going down, 40 metres out. My favourite football has been on the field now. Number 18, Louis Nicholas. He's a warrior. So we've got a scrum going down, 40 metres out from the Panthers try line. Billy Bush is going to feed the scrum for the... Uh, oh, it's not Billy. No, it's not Billy. Maybe he's retired, Billy. Looks like Bim to me, number 20. I haven't got a team sheet from the Eels, which doesn't surprise me. In it goes. Big push from the Panthers again. Diving pass from Bim. That was a bit of excitement. It was a great run. The Panthers are over the top. They're up the middle. Oh, the Panthers are into this. The, uh, there's a knock on. Gosh. Oh, there's nobody home. There's nobody home. Oh, John Penner's passed the ball out. Oh, and he's out over the sideline. Oh, here we go. Yellow cards coming out of his pocket. Either that or he's looking for a handkerchief. Oh, I don't know. I can't follow the referee. We've got a penalty going to the heels. He goes to his pocket. And that's normally the reason why they go for their pocket. So we're on the halfway mark. Got a line out. Sunil's throw. 
Tom's up. Not straight. Not straight. Deals are self-destructing. I just hope we can see something exciting from these backline players where they pass to each other and they run 50 or 60 metres and the, the crowd will be happy. This hasn't been one of our better games in this competition. It's good tight football. But I want to see exciting football. When you see players of this calibre on the field, you expect, you want to see the ball being run and being run by the players. You don't come to see kicks. They've got a scrum going down on the halfway mark. At the end of the day, if the Pampers win the game, they'll be happy no matter how they win it. Ball's in. Out it comes. Here we go. Oh, terrible pass. Rungies off. Oh, 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 oh. oh, they're into it. That was Logan tried to kill him. And Tua's kicked it. Over his head, out on the fall. Logan wants the ball. Oh, he can't catch the ball. Logan's getting serious. <laughs> I'd just like something to go right for the Eels because they've had no luck. Up they go. Clive's going to get the ball. That uh, wasn't straight. Gosh, it's been scrappy. The Eels were in a good position there and it's been a bad throw on the line out. So we've got a scrum going down 30 metres out from the Panthers try line. It's a Panthers scrum and feed. Ball's in. Ozzy's got the ball. Vigas put the kick in. Being well caught, Farley. He's up the middle. Farley will try and link up. Oh, good front on tackle. But it's still an Eels ball. Oh, big hit. The Eels. Here we go. Here we go. Pushing and shoving. Pushing and shoving. Pushing and shoving. It's just, that's frustration. That's frustration. Time out. Ref says, let's have a talk. All the crowd, they're giving advice, they're laughing, they're giggling. Here's Arbitu's big chance. I think they've got a scrum and feed 30 metres out. That is um, Sione, number 15. So we've got a penalty to the Eels. Here's their big chance to get into this game. Oh, they've taken a tap. And they've put the ball down. They've put the ball down. Oh, here we go. Oh. Gosh, it's scrappy. Gosh, it's scrappy. That was the Eels' big chance. They took a tap and knocked the ball on.
I think the players are just frustrated with the way the game's going and they wouldn't be happy with their performance. Some very proud men out there. That's 15-5. The Panthers are winning the game on kicks. Five, four penalties and a field goal, I think, to the one try. But we've got a scrum going down on the 40 metre mark. It's a Panthers scrum and feed. Time will be the enemy for the Eels now. Quick heel back. Out they come. And here's Tua. He's been quiet all day. Oh, he's passed it. It didn't go to anybody. But at least. And there's the game. It's over. And the Premiers for 2019 is the Panther Eels. Uh, I mean, the Panther. We've got a scrum going down. The two Papa Panthers have won this game. It's 15-5. Even if the Eels do something, they can't win the game. It's been a frustrating day for all the players. I feel sorry for them because they're very proud men and they want a better game than this for their supporters. But it's an Eels scrum. Bim's put it in. A big push from the Panthers. And it's gone backwards. And there's oh, there's a big tackle, there's a big tackle. And that was from Tana Savage. There's Stanley. Oh, they're going to play it to the death this game. And it's gone to Neville Nobody. And he's, uh, Farley's put the kick in, it's, if it goes out, that's the end of the day. And the winners are the Panthers. It's been a good close contest, but I expected better than that. But if you like a tight game, it was a tight game. And after the game, they're all friends. And from the cameraman, Alex, and myself, I hope you enjoyed this game and we'll be back for the sevens in a few weeks' time. And that'll be all from this game and we'll see you later in the year. Thank you.